You're sitting on your couch, streaming a movie, or playing games. Maybe looking at something on your phone. You are taking in information from around the world by the second. People are constantly communicating back and forth. You've become numb to it. Your teacher asks you to send a message to the world about your ideas and values. But how do you maximize your audience? How do you communicate effectively in a new world? Throughout history, humans have, obviously, needed to communicate. So they created technologies to help them do so. Technology is the vehicle that carries the message, and in some cases, quite literally. Bear with me, this is going to be a lot of information. The early 1900s, you have the telephone, newspaper, and the invention of the automobile. Mail is delivered by train and by horse. In fact, the automobile isn't used for much other than recreation at this point. The Roaring Twenties have the radio to thank for their information. A decade of booming economics, tons of production, and aristocratic lifestyles. Late 1940s, that had the introduction of the television into homes, though it had been invented back in 1927. People went to work in passenger trains, daily. Buses took people through city streets. The 50s were a golden era. Mail and milk were delivered by truck. Most every family had a car. And records were popular and affordable, as they had been before. And TVs were even more popular now. The 60s saw the inventions of the computer and the video game system. By the 1970s, these things became more popular. The 70s also had the popularity of the 8-track player and the CB, or Citizens Band, radio. 1980 had the cassette tape, VHS systems, television everywhere, portable music players, and the first personal video camera mass-marketed, and it was made by JVS. Computers were more advanced. A telephone system could be hooked up to a computer and monitored independently by that computer. The 1990s had the first useful wireless phones, as well as the first ever text messages. They had the first playable 3D video games, and the invention of the DVD. The World Wide Web was first introduced in the 90s. Yeah, that www dot thing you had to tediously type for a web address and still sometimes have to do? That was first invented in 1991. Communication has already come a long, long, long way. So what does it look like today? The new set of kids entering the world within the next several years is known as Generation Z. They come after the millennial generation. They are known for being one of the first groups born into the age of smart devices. Cell phones, tablets, modern computers, restaurant kiosks, the list goes on. Communication is literally milliseconds away from their fingertips. They have the world in their hands. But even they have trouble navigating and conveying or finding information in our vast world. Our different cultures. Our politics. Our entertainment. So what's the answer? Where's the roadmap? And what's the fastest route? Well, I have a friend here, Noah Nethery. I wanted to watch what he does and hear in his own words what he thinks the success to communicating is, his philosophy, etc. Define yourself. Um, say I'm pretty energetic at times and random most of the time. What would you say is the uh, best platform to get your message out to the world that you use? I see, I would see music as a, as the biggest way. I, I see, that's, that's something I haven't thought of. 
well, at least in the subject of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you would use music, what would you think that someone else might use your age? Uh, most likely social media and messages. Okay. Um, how often do you yourself use social media? Uh, not often, if not at often. all. All right. Well, um, how does music then shape who you are? How does, how does your personality and the way you communicate shape who you are? That's a deep question. Uh, you can express a lot of emotion through music and and it's easier to express what you're thinking and again emotion through music and what you play okay um is there any other medium of communication that you think uh that you might use to get your message out to the world uh maybe something concerning uh videography okay filming now Noah didn't quite say everything I thought he would, which is good. He thought of an example of communication I hadn't. Music. People have been communicating with music and instruments for centuries. The trumpet was first designed to call signals over the sounds of war. How is our technology different from technology back then? It's just faster. You don't need to be next to someone or a couple of miles with wide open air to send them a message. You can do it in an instant. So, theoretically, it should be easier to communicate. So what's the trouble? It's probably because we're all overwhelmed by it. And like I said earlier, we're numb to it. But I would say that the answer to communicating effectively, well, one, just use your head. Use the technology that's available to you. If you have a computer or a smartphone, Tons of kids get on Instagram and do daily things on there. Why not share your thoughts? If your message is not being perceived by an audience you want it to, change it up. It also takes some individuality. Like I said, Noah thought of something I hadn't. Whatever you think is best to project your message and to have it heard how you want, might be the best way to go. Music allows you to communicate feelings and emotions that are just hard to put into words. Sometimes you're limited by how many words you can put down, but not by how many notes you can put in a measure. Well, sort of. I guess to communicate effectively in a new world is up to you.